Hello, this is Detective 14, playthrough 1, Paper Mario, Chapter 3, Part 2, and last parts, we ventured to, into the, uh, voice crack, into the Forever Forest and es escaped through that awful place, uh, darn maze I hate. And this part, we made it to Boo's Mansion, and, we, and this part, we shall enter it. So, like with the Forever Forest, there's going to be a lot of stuff that you have to, like, do and, you know, figure out. And, you know, this... This adds on to the for force. By the way, we have a boo which just shocks us. Jesus, I forgot it does that. Yeah. And there's a few things that we could like explore. You can explore a little. Jump in here. See what's in here. It's just nape it, Mario. Sure. All right. So, a lot aside, you could jump jump back into that and uh, revert back to normal, or you could exit out this door and you you can yeah uh, you can revert, revert back to normal. That's a little Easter egg if you if you want to do. For now, we just have to figure out which area to go first. This place we don't have to go to yet. That's out of order. Just have to keep exploring here. The star will do. Want to go up to the third floor? Yes, we want to go to the third third floor. We go upstairs. Well, we're gonna have to do a certain a long a string of events here just to get to the third floor. So we need a painting. Where are we going to get this painting, though? And I wonder if they if they can. And I guess this is where everything's going to start. We're just, just going to get the CD. Maybe play some music. I guess. Maybe uh, this CD could link to that other room that we were just in. That I just uh, didn't even bother going through. So I might as well just do this first and then go back into that area. Right now we have to pay attention to which boo has a CD. I... Alright, swapped over to a, a CD. You also have to make sure to watch it because, you know, dialogue's gonna be moving. And. Right there. You hit the boo with the, the CD and he'll drop the CD and that's it. It's actually pretty easy. Or I don't know if it's uh, on what scale of difficulty, you know, compared to. to compared to us just. Uh, at, compared to us getting Trooper Shell and. Okay, it's nothing in that drawer. You know, getting Coop, Cooper shell from, shells from the fuzzies with that puzzle or that tree puzzle that we had a while back. It, it's nothing really uh, new, really. It's actually the same thing, just the uh, puzzles, so just keeping track. Alright, so what does this boo have to say? So bored. Lady Bo ordered me to stay here, but for how long? Guard that chest. Must be real dedicated just to guard that chest. And you know what? Just have some fun. Gonna yeah, play some music, and he's gonna be distracted. And maybe he he will, he'll get off that chest. So we have to tap the A button. All right, let's tap the A button. Ready, set, go. Ah, oh dang it! I pressed the B button. Darn it! Now I gotta try that again. Come on. Yay! We're gonna go real fast. Darn fast. Super duper fast. Okay, let's just go regular speed. Because I don't think uh, the boo will get off the chest if we play it that fast. So let's just go at regular speed. It's just, just for lulz. Have him dance a little. Just to uh, give us enough time for him to be distracted, I guess. And then once that's all done, just go over the chest and get it. So we can get the weights. And what that's for. Oh, I'm out of breath for just tapping the button that fast. Jesus. Oh, no more tapping but. No more tapping buttons for me in a while. Maybe, maybe in Mario Party 2, or if I'm really bored, and go back. To we can go back to Donkey Kong Jungle Beat and do it there. Yeah, even though you use the Wii Remote Nunchuck, you don't use buttons to tap. All right, so I'm just I'm real tired. After all, I'm just gonna sit on this couch. Yeah, I actually wanna. Maybe this is. Oh no, that's not the cool side. That's that's the side that jumps that 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 springs you all the way to the ceiling fan. That ain't no. No comfy side on the couch. That's the one that keeps you from getting too fat and you know just being a couch potato. All right, we got because of that weight. We got a secret. We got a secret door here that opens to another area of this mansion. There's a chest right here. I'm gonna get it. Ah, the chandelier. That ain't no secret. Just a booby trap. Darn chest. All right, what else is there? Uh, might as well just go down. There's no door over there. And 
Let's see here. Got another door there, and nothing really, so we might as well just uh, go over here, see what's over here. And, oh no, the door, door crashed. Alright, so we're trapped in here. What was the big chest? I want to open this big chest. Because, you know, progress, man. Progress. And, another thing I wanted to, I guess, uh, you know, since, uh, this is the first video, uh, that I've been really back. The last video I recorded, uh, before I made the announcement, or I, I went to go and make the announcement, you know, on the, the video before, the chapter 3 prologue, uh, I did say I was going to take, like, a week break, j just so I can, you know, actually stockpile these videos. Because, you know, no more, you know, days were, actually, I, I Oh dang, I, I, I might have messed that up. Alright, I didn't keep track of the spin jump, darn it. So I have to make a wild guess here. Oh, oh nice, yes. I was, I was the best guest ever, yes. Usually I, I, I'm terrible at guesses, but yes. Can't believe I... I can't believe I managed to actually keep track of that without even paying attention. Alright, so getting back to what I was saying. Uh, I'm going to spend a week trying to stockpile some videos. So unfortunately, that's going to mean that... That I'm, I'm not going to be able to like talk about current stuff, or you know, in case if anything happens, so I might just uh, talk about stuff that happened a week ago. Fortunately, and with that spin jump badge, or not spin jump badge, but like that spin spin jump power up, we can now uh, jump in the air, press A again, or press A A, and then A again in the air, and do this little spin jump here. With this, we can just jump and smash into things. Let's be it's re really good power up so far, because you, you know it balances out with the hammer that has a base attack of four, and now our jump attack is gonna have a it's gonna have two bases of two, just gonna be awesome indeed. And here I said, uh, oh, I guess not. We got not gonna, not gonna sell me those nice items. Snowman stall, stopwatch, mystery, a life shroom looks like it. The which is the pink mushroom down there in the maple syrup that we just got. As well as the super shroom. Life shrooms, uh, they're expensive, but they can come in real hand handy because when your HP reaches zero at any point, you can use a uh, you can use life shroom to bring you bring yourself back to life. Very very good use a uh, very good uh, item to use. In case if uh, you're not experienced with the game or or maybe you just have to take a few hits. Enough of that. Uh, I think we have to go back in this room because there is a little flo uh, little uh, wood on some wood on the ground, and we need to go in there with the spin jump that we just got, and you know pick up some items too that I have to store. Another apple, jeez. Ah, oh, there goes my inventory space. Uh, I don't need one apple, so I'm not gonna pick up the second apple. Spin jump down here, and we're in the secret area downstairs. I gotta make sure I don't miss anything, so I think you have to use use Perry Carry to glide over here and you can get uh you can get this item here. Boo's portrait. That should be used for uh that one painting that we got on the second floor. You can so that way we can do that and uh you know, maybe get to the third floor. Which which is what we need to. The star piece right there. If you can time out that jump and spin jump all that down. Pombet, so we can blow it. Let's go over to Bombette and so we can blow this up. You just gotta like start up a sentence. Just don't just don't just say you just Bombette and Bombette this. Alright, well, now we gotta go all the way back up. And right before I recorded this, I came out of school. It was all, you know, it was all uh, nice and sunny. I guess a little sunny, but, you know, partly cloudy. And then, and then uh, around the time where I was about to get out, it was just pouring. Like, it was just raining all over the place. Or just just raining, and uh, you know all the streets were flooded because you know uh, in Nevada or Las Vegas, I guess the, there's not that really a good flooding system because you know the I guess the road or so it's really uh, really narrow, I guess, and uh, you know it can like just pile up a lot of water. You know, most or some some parts of the street is all flooded. That's that's really bad, but luckily uh, you know there's no crashes or anything. It's just that, you know, that's a, somewhat of a problem, because, uh, what if the water, what if there's too much water in the street and you can't drive on it, you're just gonna, like, uh, float there. The tires are gonna be up on the ground, or up off the ground, and then, and then just, uh, go wherever they want. Maybe, like, go sideways, you know. 
Would have been bad. I sure hope my capture card isn't uh, too buggy. I am looking over at the capture preview from then, then and then. Uh, it looks like it might may twitch, like in this, like in the middle. It could twitch, like with the uh, dazzle would do. Whenever I have, uh, you know, multiple overlays, you know, like mainly like in my Mario Kart 8 videos. Uh, I just have to go back and look at all this just to make sure it's all right. Other than that, we have uh, this state, this way here. We got finally got to the third floor. We got to Bootler that we met in like the beginning of this chapter, and this other Boo goes by the name Lady Bow. Must be the must be the Boo that everybody else is talking about, and probably the person who who uh, runs this mansion, I guess. So I well, find a secret to defeat the Tub Blubba. All right, let's let's kill that Tub Blubba and get that Star Spear. Why not? Get out of this dirt chapter. Probably my least favorite chapter in this entire game, because you know I, I I don't really dig the the horror type uh, setting in in Paper Mario. Uh, I think I might dig the I think I uh, somewhat like the I somewhat like Thousand Year Doors uh, uh, horror theme setting a lot more. We're not getting to that just yet, but we all know uh, it, the game's been out for ten years, and like I said, I, I really wanted to. Uh, Really wanted to play that game, or uh, try and start a playthrough of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door around October, just to celebrate, you know, ten ten year anniversary of Thousand Year Door. Because really, Thousand Year Door, if you think about it, is such a great game. It's up there with uh, some of my all time favorites, you know, like the like with the Super Smash Brothers series, Mario Kart series, and if I can think of anything else, I'll try and bring that up later later on. But geez, this dialogue is just going on and on. Oh yes, yeah, the Pikmin series. I gotta, gotta give Pikmin series a lot of things, or a lot of credit too, because that's also up there with uh, my favorite games of all time. And now the bootler is just uh, begging Lady Bo not to go, because you know, the Tub Blubba might eat her, because she, she, she's a boo. And apparently, uh, there's Tub Blubba eats ghosts. Apparently. It's, now we have uh, something that boos fear. All right. Now we got bow, like like it or not. So we can. So her ability, you push down the C buttons, or just push down the C stick if you're playing virtual console. Have her, have or her and Mario become transparent and no one will notice you. Mario transparent objects will go right through you. This would be great if, uh, say, if you're, there's an enemy that you don't want to face, you can just. Uh, you can just uh, go invisible, and uh, he won't—they won't see you. And you can try and sneak by him, or you can use it to sneak by, or or just uh, just avoid him in general. But in most cases, you can just like spin jump, or like spin and jump to just uh, get away from the, from. It's pretty fast. And there's some, and now that we got Lady Boot, La Lady Bo, uh, we can actually go back into the shop. So that's the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do because I need to end the. Er, I try to say two words again. Empty and inventory. Try to say those both those terms at the same time. What I meant to say was uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you know get rid of some items in my inventory. Now we got that. Like we said, we gotta check some items in. I'm gonna get rid of the apple. Maybe some uh, items that ha you know have a little less use. I'm gonna get rid of this egg too. Some of these items that I have, uh, you might as well just store them in case if you wanna, you know, you so you can do some stuff with those later on. Uh, I think I'll just, uh, I'll store my Ultra Shroom because I don't really need it. Because, you know, uh, it's kind of a waste just using all that. I'll just get rid of that. Uh, hmm. I'll keep the Honey Shrooms on me. I think I'll buy, I'll actually buy one Life Shroom just, just in case. You never know. And maybe, just maybe, I'll buy one Mush, or er, super, super Shroom. And that'll be that. And, you know what, just, just the lols. Just for the lulz, just in case if I need this too, I'll get the snowman doll. Now with all that said and done, you know, let's, let's, let's venture forward. Let's actually uh, make the next step in this chapter. And just go back upstairs and, you know, let's head over to Gusty Gulch. Yeah, maybe, just one more, just one more time. Maybe if there's something in here. Nope, okay, fine. Let's be that way. I have nothing in that chest. Just, say, just trigger that, why don't you? Fine, be that way. No loot in that. Whether it's the first, second, third, or 
1,000th time trying to check that. Alright, so we're going to go over the here, and that's going to be it for this part. Two next time for the next, or uh, two next time for, what is it, part three of chapter three. Part three of chapter three of Paper Mario. As we're going to head over to Gold, Glusty Gulch and into Tub Blubba's castle. So, there should be a save block up ahead. Not mistaken. Save block, no, they'll save block up. We're going to save back, back at the mansion, so. We're going to go back, back in here. Back in the nighttime, it was daytime over there apparently. So I'm just gonna save right here and you know save all that for the next part. So, to next time for all that is we're gonna go over to the go over to the Gulch. So until then, see you guys later.